Hello YouTube, Jeff Steele here with Steele Navigator. Today we're covering the part 14 update of the current ammo and firearm shortages in America, year 2020. First topic of today is two days ago I went to the local Walmart, wanted to check their inventories. They have received ample supply of all gauges of birdshot. All of the shells were full. I was very surprised to see that, especially with the upcoming dove season. We'll be opening the first Saturday in September here in the state of Georgia. Also, their inventories of air guns has improved significantly. Last couple of times I went, they might have had one or two air rifles in stock. This trip, they had several models and also, as far as the, the pellets, they had ample supply of that for the air rifles. In regards to ammunition, as far as rifle, they had a, a great supply of 308 and .30-06. I did see one box, believe it or not, of 22 long rifle CCI mini mags. I was very surprised to see that. But I'd say the highlight would be ample supply of the birdshot. Anywhere from 4, 10, 20, 12 gauge, 16 gauge, they had everything in stock. So that's some good news there. Another topic I wanted to speak on today was physical fitness. We can have all the supply in the world as far as ammunition and firearms and have all the licensings we need for that. If you're not physically fit, you're not going to be able to defend yourself for very long regardless of what supplies you have. I have been target practicing with some individuals and after 10 or 15 minutes their arms get so tired they can't hold the rifle or shotgun up any longer. If you're not in tip-top shape you need to be working on that every day. That needs to be a part of your daily routine at least an hour a day get some vigorous exercise in and that needs to consist of weight training picking up heavy things putting it down cardio as well as flexibility it needs to be those three and we could also add in nutrition health is number one if your health is not in tip-top shape your endurance your, your physical strength your stamina you're just not going to be in the fight for very long. You will become exhausted extremely quick, especially when your adrenaline is pumping. It'll drain your energy a hundred times as fast. So if you're not, if you're obese or overweight, you need to handle that. That needs to be priority number one before you even consider upgrading your inventories. Also, something you can do instead of actual target practicing would be speed drills. Get somebody to time you. Of course, be safe as always, but work on holstering and unholstering your sidearms. Work on getting in and out of vehicles, getting on target with your weapons. Practice these things, all of your movements have plans for your household, where you're gonna move, where you're gonna relay rendezvous points. Also, in regards to your residence, you're only gonna be able to stay at your home base for so long. You need to be prepared for movement. Movement is life. If you stay in one place for very long, you're not gonna last. It's good to have a good home base, but you need to be ready to transport, ready to move with the things you need. Have designated relay or rendezvous points also supplied, ready to go with people in your network. You need to have plan A, B, C, D, and E for all of these situations. It's very critical. Don't put all your eggs in one basket and don't plan on staying at your home base indefinitely. It's just not feasible. You have to be always mobile, always be moving. Very important. On another note, 
up at the farm, we have a farm in North Georgia, and we have several crops, fruit trees, various vegetables growing in. And my grandmother has been overseeing that farm, and she's mentioned to me on several occasions recently that I need to come up and take care of the crows and squirrels as they're causing agricultural damage, as usual. And I've communicated to her on a couple of times that with current shortages and inventory levels being down, I'm gonna have to put that on hold for right now. But seeing some the stocks going back up currently, I think I'm gonna at least take a 17 HMR up and do some population control there. So that'll be fun. Moving on to comments. These are all YouTubers, by the way. The Honest Truth says that he has had great luck at Academy Sports recently as far as finding inventories and really reasonable prices. Now, I will say I would like to know what area are you located? Where is this at? And what stocks did you find that you were looking for? We'd like to know. How was their firearm inventory? David Sincere says, don't come to Maryland, not covered. I'm assuming in regards to concealed carry and licensing there. He doesn't say specifically, but past video it kind of makes me think that's what he's speaking on. And also YouTuber Sledneck in Gwinnett, I'm assuming Gwinnett County, Georgia, which is not far out of Atlanta. He, I'm assuming speaking on the concealed carry permit within that county in Georgia says that they are also doing the fingerprinting at the courthouse. Now, when I got my carry permit in Georgia, I was 21. The initial process always takes longer. That's when you do your fingerprinting. I was 21, so that was about nine years ago. At that time, I first went to the probate court, went through a process, and then I went to the sheriff's office, did my fingerprinting there. Now, once you renew, and the ticket is to renew before your permit expires, very important. Go, I would recommend three to six months before your permit expires, go ahead and start the renewal process, alleviate any issues. But you should not have to do, as far as I'm aware, the fingerprinting after the initial permit application as long as you don't let your permit lapse. And he says once he completed the initial process, he waited for over a month for the physical plastic card that comes to you in the mail. And I think when I renewed not long ago, it took three, I think three weeks before I got my renewal card in the mail. And I did not let my permit lapse and it still took that long just for the renewal card. So keep that in mind, do not let it lapse. So these are the comments. Let us all know what is going on in your area in regards to ammunition, firearms, air rifles, air rifle supplies, any type of supplies, reloading, holsters, tactical gear. Let us know what is going on with inventories in your area. Let us know the specific area and stores you are visiting. Also, Share this video, get the word out, check out the other parts to this series. There'll be some valuable information. We're gonna to try to keep this going as updates roll in. Tap the subscribe button, the thumbs up icon, and the bell icon. We do appreciate you watching. Other means of support, you can cash app or PayPal. Have a nice evening.